NBA on Thursday, a brilliantly played one nothing win over Oklahoma State, ranked third. That's hit toward the right side, gloved by Taylor Tidwell, and a three ground ball out first inning. A little too much, you know, she's not really using her short game, although she showed it there. But I feel like she hasn't used just her tap. And In the first three games of the season, Andrews is on the move and easily steals second base. That's her first of the season. After 47 a year ago, she was out to runner at third, bottom of the first. Clark yeah, sends is. one high. Clark sends one deep. You can pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. It bounces over the hill and down into the parking lot beyond the palm trees. Georgia Clark rips one again. There's the beast that I'm talking about. And yes, you can call a female a beast that hits the ball like that. That ball went over the second berm. And Beth Tarina has told me that in BP and early practices, she has hit the ball further than anyone that has played in this park that she has coached. And Georgia knew it. She kind of did a little home run trot from uh, home. At LSU, he left early to go participate in professional track and field. And we are being told he has just broken the indoor pole vault. One of the taller shot stops ever in Tiger history, although I'm drawing a blank right now, but the very first uh, shortstop here was pretty tall. Since Sandra Simmons. She was a fine one. That's knocked down, but no throw. The shortstop was there, but Brokenborough could not make that play from her knee. The catcher holds on. That one is flicked back into the glove. The better defensive outfielder in the later innings. That's lined to the third baseman for the out. The throw back to second. And did she catch the ball? I thought she did. Okay, we got blocked. I was going to say that's a double play if she caught it, but obviously she didn't. So the umpire. That nope, ball got never through caught her. The umpire's making no signal. It hit her. In first base with two outs. And the bases are loaded as Andrews, for the second time, draws a base on balls at the top of the order. That one is just out of the strike zone. And a run is walked home. To the dugout for a little help. Sunseri lifts it out to left field, and it is caught by Andrews. So, Ella, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, Whoa, 16. Whoa, nice play. Oh, what a play at shortstop. Well done by the rookie Taylor Pleasants. Flashing the leather on the left side. We've been waiting for her to make some kind of jaw-dropping play, and there's the first one of, I think, many. In her. It, it's a gorgeous sight. Well, those are Louisiana natives. That, those palm trees aren't, but uh, the crepe myrtles, as you said, and the cypress, you know, Louisiana's known for the cypress trees. So that was kind of really important in the planning of everything. She waves at that one, and another three up, three down inning, four strikeouts for Sunseri. She's been. Her bat will be in the lineup. She'll either play first or she'll be a DP, and she walks here. That's been a problem for the freshman, Nadia Zenteno. It's two strikes, two outs. Bottom of the third. This is chopped to the third baseman. It's a fair ball and a nice play on both corners. Boatwright stayed with it, keeping the tip of that shoe on the corner of the bag. And Jones over to Boatwright for the out. We'll put you right in the action as we move on. It's 3 nothing. Ooh, that bears in and hits the batter on the back of the helmet. I think she's going to be fine, but Irvis was conked. Trying to come inside with that drop ball to the lefty and just, you know. That is just off the mark. And that is the first walk of the year issued by Sunseri. 
Only a couple of RBI. And she swings through that one. So Sanceri, Kenya Marie Jones. Reaches for it. It's on the backhand side of the shortstop. She's unable to make a play. Pleasance left her feet. She kept it on the infield. And that is the first base hit of the tournament for right back to the circle it goes as broken burrow swings on the first pitch and three batters left the board but ellis defensive fast pitch ball games throwback that is the sixth walk from zenteno with runners in scoring position but six walks takes away a little bit from two hits that's a nice bunt doing your job and the ball oh, is wow. thrown away at first base. One run scores. Here comes a, another one to the plate. Yes. Sierra Briggs scores all the way on that sacrifice bunt attempt. Tidwell was rounding the bases. She scored easily. The windmill at third base drove in Sierra Briggs. That'll be a sacrifice and an E4. Well, you got to field it. You got to throw it and you got to catch it. And the throw and the catch weren't quite there. And you knew once it got down that line that uh, that was a, that was. And Kaya Johnson, the youngster, won the all around for LSU. She is going to be phenomenal. She already is. Well, Pleasance comes up with that, makes the play at first base. Three up, three down. Nothing left the infield of the fifth. We move on. It's five against Oklahoma State in the next game. That's stroked into center. A clean base hit with two outs for Pleasance. Taylor Pleasance, one for two. The shortstop cannot make a play. Runners at first and third. Broken Burrow got a jump on it to her left, and then the ball kind of got into her body. She tried to grab it on the second to Carol. Left-handed first baseman since Sandra Simmons. Sandra Simmons on the roster. This is hit way back, way back, way back. It's off the wall in right center field. Two-run score, and it's a triple for Taylor Tidwell driving in a pair. That ball gapped. Stoudemire in center field and Irvis in right. It both looked like they might have a chance to get to it. And it split the two outfielders. It hit high off the wall. And it just kept traveling. I thought it had a chance to go out. That is her first base hit this year, correct? Yes, it is. And she's hustling. For all you little girls out there, she's hustling the whole way. You know, it actually hit the white of the... Uh, of the outfield fence. Now in baseball, if it hit college. This is deep into the left field corner. It's a fair ball. Briggs is on her way to third. She slides safely with a triple and this game is over. Briggs hits one deep. It was twisting off away from Athena Andrews. It landed near the warning track in the left field corner. And on back-to-back -back triples by Tidwell and Briggs, LSU comes away with the win. Gutierrez showing some power there. Ball, last two balls were hit very, very well. That ball was slicing away from Andrew. She had no play. Well, it took a while, but LSU finally got the bats going. I think Beth Torina has some options, and who's ever hitting is going to play. So you're going to see some different uh, names out there. So that's it, Yvette, as LSU will get ready to take on Oklahoma State in the next game. We'll have it for you right here on the SEC ESPN Network. For Yvette Girard, I'm Lynn Rollins. The final score in game one of LSU's doubleheader today.